So, you've completed your 3D model in Blender. Now you want to get it into Glossy. Let's hop into Blender and I'll show you how it's done. Here, I have a 3D model. Uh, wait. Here, I have a better 3D model. Download it off of Sketchfab, link in the description. For the most seamless conversions, go to the Scene tab and locate the Units dropdown. Make sure the unit system is set to metric and the length is set to centimeters. You may then need to rescale your model. Depending on what your original units were, scale your model by one of these percentages here. In some cases, you may also want to reposition your model. So this sitting at the origin point, zero, zero, zero. In my case, I didn't need to do that, but you have at it. But now select everything that you scaled or moved, hit Control A, then apply all transforms. You'll notice the scale transforms all revert back to one. The locations and rotation transforms should all be zero. Next, if you have any, you'll want to bake any procedural textures. Those don't play well outside of Blender. To do that, we'll locate our procedural nodes in the shader editor. Create a new image texture node and name it whatever makes sense for you. And because my original textures are 2K, I made this one 2K as well. I also unchecked alpha because I don't need it. With our target object selected, in another panel, we'll go into the image editor, then select our newly created image from the dropdown. Now go to the Render Properties tab and make sure you're using Cycles. If you have a decent GPU, select GPU Composite because speed. Also because speed, uncheck Denoise and Noise Threshold and set max samples to 10. Down below, locate the Bake dropdown. Here, I'm only baking the roughness map. If you need to bake other maps, I'll leave a link in the description to a video that explains exactly how to do that. From here, you're ready to hit Bake. So. Do it. You can see the bake in real time in the image editor. Once it's done, click image and save it in a location that makes sense for you. Then be sure not to forget to plug in your bake texture to replace the procedural one. Otherwise, what was the point? Now that that's all done, we'll click over into the world properties tab and look in the surface dropdown. Next to surface, if you haven't made any changes there already, it should say background. We don't want it to say that. Click on it and choose Remove. It should now say None. That's what we wanted to say. And with that, you're finally ready to export. So head up to File, Export, and Universal Scene Description. Click that. In the Export Settings, under Object Types, deselect Lights and Cameras. If you have multiple objects in your scene you don't plan on exporting, choose either Selection or Visible Only. Just make sure the mesh that you're exporting is selected and or visible. Since you'll likely be doing this for more projects in the future, go ahead and make a preset with these options. Navigate to the folder you'd like to export to. Name your file appropriately. And one final thing, change USDC to USDZ. And one final, final thing, hit Export USD. Back in Glossy, we'll click the Upload button then drag our model into the window. Once the upload completes, you can simply click the Create Project button from the pop-up notification. Name your project, then hit Complete. Once the studio launches, examine your model and get ready to create beautiful, stunning images using Glossy Studio.